Later this week, the gradually recovering IPO market will be put to the test when Birkenstock comes public. Yeah, Birkenstock. The German sandal maker plans to sell $1.5 billion worth of stock, and I think this one is worth focusing on, both because it's big, but also more importantly because it's a little unusual. See, Birkenstock and its investment bankers are pursuing a pretty aggressive valuation by any standard. <clears throat> this weekend, Reuters reported that there's enough demand for the deal to come at the high end of the proposed price range. I was shocked at that. That's $49 per share, which would imply a market capitalization of under, just under $10 billion. Hey, that's more than double what Birkenstock's current private equity owner paid to acquire it just two and a half years ago. Do you think it really increased that much in value? Long story short, if you want to buy the stock after it comes public, you really, you really got to like this story plenty. Otherwise, it is just simply unjustifiable. <laughs> Frankly, it's almost never a good idea to buy something right after the IPO. I know people are going to do it. I wish you won't. People are going to use market orders. I wish they wouldn't. You typically get a better price if you just wait until it cools down. But that goes double for Birkenstock. This year's other big IPOs were deliberately underpriced to get people interested. That is not the case here. See, we're starting to progress. So what's the story? Everybody knows Birkenstock's the ultimate hippie brand turned yuppie brand. These things have been seen a surge of popularity in recent years, large part because of the pandemic. That won them a whole new generation of customers, including my wife. Of course, there's no way to tell if there's a permanent thing or if it's just a fad. We know younger people's tastes can quickly change. You know, they're like... That's it. Birkenstock's been putting up some truly magnificent numbers. Great growth, solid profitability, margins headed in the right direction. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.